Hello, this is Sean1113. Thank you for watching. It's presented by something else. I'm something else, you're something else, and everything else in between is something else. Something else. That's all you need to know. Now, on to the week nine predictions of Sean Steele's 2013 2014 on the Sean 1113 channel. Week nine. Last week I was 10 and 3. 68.2% and 76 and 45 record overall. Now to the games of week nine. Cincinnati, Miami. Hate to bet against Miami, but there's a way they're playing right now. And the way Cincinnati's playing, I'm going to have to pick Cincinnati. Atlanta and Carolina. Um, we can we um, congratulate the Atlanta Falcons for being eliminating themselves in the NFC playoffs, actually. A Carolina, probably the only team that probably would challenge New Orleans in the NFC South. Otherwise, I project the winner right now is New Orleans, and I'll get to them later about their game. And I'm going to pick Carolina. Atlanta and Carolina, I'm going to pick Carolina in that one, the way they're playing. Minnesota and Dallas, um, I'm going to pick Dallas here after their heartbreaking loss, but I'm going to pick Minnesota. I mean, I'm going to pick Dallas, actually. New Orleans and the Jets could be a kind of a trap game, but I'm going to pick New Orleans. They're going to be too much for the Jets. Jets, and I'm going to pick New Orleans in that one. Tennessee and St. Louis. Um, I'm going to pick Tennessee to win that game. Kansas City and Buffalo. This has a... This is going to be probably the most intriguing game I've ever watched. Kansas City's undefeated. This is a trap game for Kansas City, in my opinion. I really, I'm going to pick Kansas City, but this is one of those games you can consider a trap game because Buffalo's better than you think. And in my opinion, Kansas City should not pass. The, they're the only team undefeated. Defeated. They have to, I know. Someone else, San Diego and Denver, are going to have to, will definitely be a challenge challenge to them. But this is a trap game for Kansas City against Buffalo. Would not be shocked if Buffalo wins that game, but I'm going to pick Kansas City. We'll see against San Diego. I'm going to pick San Diego and Washington. I'm going to pick Washington. If their running game goes goes well, they, I mean, running game goes well. I definitely think Washington is going to win win that game. Philadelphia and Oakland. Philadelphia can't win a game. Can't buy a game at home. Oakland is better than with Terrell Pryor. I'm going to pick Oakland. If Terrell Pryor limits the mistakes a little bit, I, I against against a Philadelphia defense that's just mm, Ugly. I'm going to pick Oakland in that one. Tampa Bay, Seattle, shut up. Seattle's at home. What's all you need to know? Seattle at home. Thank you very much. I'll pick 99% of the time. It's Seattle. Baltimore and Cleveland. Jason Campbell does give you a chance. It's, a, it's better than <laughs> give you a chance to win. But I'm going to pick Baltimore. Pittsburgh and New England. It's another potential trap game, but Pittsburgh can't really score and can't take away the ball too much. I'm going to have to pick, and New England with all their injuries, with all their stuff, always trying to win the win, to their credit, and I'm going to pick New England. Indianapolis and Houston could be another potential trap game, but I'm going to pick Indianapolis, the way they're playing right now. And Chicago Green Bay. Green Bay is the home, and to me, it's Green Bay. It's a pretty easy. It's, it's, it's easy. I mean, if they, if Cutler, Briggs, and Tillman were healthy, there is a chance I would have considered it Chicago more. But I'm gonna pick Green Bay at home as long as Aaron Rodgers stays upright. Simple as that. Thirteen games. There you go.
Thank you. Thank you for watching us on the Sean 1113 channel.